All right, so in this demo, I'm going to test the zap that we've created. So the zap is called person enrich in enrichly. Um, I'm going to just go over to my data real quick and check for my users and I'll create a new account. So, all right. So in Enrichly, um, this app is still under development and so you'll see probably some bugs in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a new account under this email address. And we'll do that under unbridled test company name. So that's my team name that we talked about earlier. And now I am signed up and we can go look at my CRM here, maybe down here. And we see that there are no people in it just yet. Um, and I'm not going to do the single person enrich here. I am going to make sure I'm on the correct team unbridled test. Perfect. So my person CRM is empty right now. And now what I'll do is I'll go back to the test zap that I'm setting up. And you know this trigger can be anything. For example, when a new Calendly call is scheduled, actually, let's go ahead and do that. So click Calendly, new invitee created from my automatic account. All right, and Ranjit, Ranjit, if you see this, you're the lucky most recent uh, call that has been scheduled, and we will run your email here through the test um, to see how it works. So this is going to get triggered anytime someone schedules a call with my Calendly, and it will enrich this person in my Enrichly CRM. So we're gonna go ahead and create, connect to a new account. Um, I did just create that new account, so I'm gonna connect to it. And since I'm already logged in, it's probably just going to skip right over that. Perfect. So now we see David at unbridledgroup.com. That is the email that I used to create my account over here. And we'll go ahead and continue. And now all we need to do is pass in an email. So we'll use the invitees email. If, this, if our data source does not have this email in it, um, I'll come back and test it with an email that I know lives in there just so you can kind of see the full process. But we'll go ahead and test it with Ranjit. Let's go ahead and continue that, and now let's test it and see how it goes. All right, so that one didn't work. We're going to go ahead and pass in an email that we know is in here. So this is the email that is used in the documentation as an example. Shauna People Data Labs, go ahead and pass that in. Again, this is just an example. You can populate this data from the uh, trigger event but we're gonna just go ahead and hard code it in here. Now let's test it. All right, so we enriched that person. Here is all the data that he, that was returned from his profile. So all we had to do was input this email and now we get back all sorts of great information that is stored about this person. So before we go any further, I'm going to check enrichly and just make sure he's in my CRM, which he is. So we see all his information here. You can scroll down, see lots of great info about Sean here. Um, I'm not gonna go into more features of the app for now, but you get the point. So he is in our CRM. Again, all we did was input this email. Now we can quickly go out to his Twitter, his LinkedIn. Um, this is all dummy data, so may not be live. Um, but to just show a little bit more of the power here, you can then go and add follow-up steps. So if you want to, let's just say, send an email. Go ahead, send an email. From automatic. We're gonna go ahead and send it to this person's email. And we will say, we're going to skip all that from David, and now let's call it Enrichly. And 
And we'll say, hey, first name. And let's here, let's do his full name. Hey, Sean. And we'll go ahead and throw that in there. Um, looks like it doesn't have an HTTPS. We'll go ahead and throw that in there. This email makes no sense, but it's just here to show that, you know, again, all we did was pass in an, an email address. And now we have his first name, his full name, his LinkedIn email, or I'm sorry, his LinkedIn URL, and all sorts of other information that we can use to either send him an email, we can use it to add more information to our CRM, we can use it for all sorts of marketing purposes, and so on. Um, so I'm not going to bother testing this email. I just want to demonstrate how all of this works and that he is now in our person CRM.